everybody. Thank you to um, all of the staffers who put together um, this incredible, productive day. Um, I have a couple of thoughts. I mean, the first thing is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm standing next to the secretary, and I, I see the chickens running by, and I see the I see the whales um, reaching, and I think, okay, he got his Maui moment. Uh, um, a couple of thoughts, a couple of encouraging uh, pieces of, of information that I got this morning. Um, that is, you know, I'm not breaking news, but just wanted to emphasize two positive things, and then one thing that we really need to work on together. The first is that the Army Corps really is on track for clearing and making available for uh, re-inhabiting all of the residential structures uh, on time. And anybody who's ever been involved in any government or non-government project in the state of Hawaii, not just the county of Maui, but the state of Hawaii, um, that requires permits, that requires construction, um, that is an enormous achievement. We're not there yet, but they are certainly on track to do that. And importantly, those people whose homes are cleared for re-entry can re-enter right away. So it's just simply that the last homes will be cleared by uh, around this time next year. So I found that to be a really encouraging thing. And, and um, you know, congratulations to the Army Corps and their subcontractors and the many Maui workers that are making that happen. The second is that I've never heard of anything get, getting built in 95 days. But to get a school built in 95 days so that on April 1, these kids can go back onto campus is something worth really celebrating and being appreciative of. And, you know, it's a little hard to be so um, a laudatory of all the good work that's going on when so many people are still suffering, right? That's the challenge, is that this could turn into a bunch of politicians congratulating each other and the people who work for those politicians, and yet, right, and yet, Thousands and thousands of people are still having to move um, their, their life's belongings and bags and buckets, not sure what's going to happen next. And so the last thing that I think we all need a laser focus on, there are lots of long lead time items. Um, I'm really excited about the cultural corridor. There are lots of long lead time items about how to build back better. But we still have suffering to alleviate. And the best way we can alleviate that suffering is to build housing now. Um, and to not be precious about it, and not, not be too specific about it, and not to land exactly on the number of projected need, but to know that we are still in an emergency situation and people are still living in untenable housing. Um, it is humane. Everybody has done miraculous work just to get a roof over all these people's heads. But we need to, uh, we need to start breaking some ground and in many cases, bring some houses off of shipping containers and just drop them onto uh, a lot. Um, and finally, I'm really excited about the Honoa Pi'ilani Highway Realignment because from a color of money standpoint, this thing was super complicated. Like there were, I don't know, a raise grant and an earmark and county money and federal highway money and I'm probably missing four or five other like buckets of money. But to cobble all of that together and to do something that is really important for safety, really important for convenience, um, really important for the environment, um, and really smart in the long term fiscally, and state, county, federal. Um, it's pretty extraordinary to get this thing done. This is the kind of climate adaptation that I think President Biden has been contemplating and Secretary Buttigieg has been trying to push forward on. So it's a real, it's not done yet, but it's a real triumph that we are as far along as we are in the EIS process and the construction process. And it just shows what we can all accomplish if the um, goals are aligned and if we all uh, behave as if we are part of that same community. Uh, we are really good at a bunch of things, but one of the things I think we are best at is um, crossing all the boundaries, uh, state, federal, county, and part of it is just that we all know each other, right? I mean, I was reminded of that just getting on the airplane, and it was very difficult for any of us to even get past row 11 or row 12, everyone's saying hello to every other, everybody, and then the Hawaiian Air folks are like, can you guys hurry up so we can go? And that is um, what's great about this place, not just because it makes it a better place to live as a human, but also because we can get stuff done if we align. Um, and I am just so pleased because I've known the secretary for a while just because of my committee jurisdiction and because I've been a fan for a while, um, to welcome in, him into this family, to integrate the work that is excellent.
excellent department does um, into um, the great work that's already been done. And so I'm really personally very proud and very privileged to introduce my friend, our friend, a friend of Maui, the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg.